Hey, what's up everybody? This is the DeFi Enthusiast here. Welcome to the channel, guys. I hope you're all doing well. So, um, a lot of people are bearish right now. As always, people are operating on emotions in this space, which is quite unfortunate because people just never learn from history that if you're emotional, you're never going to succeed in this space. Now, uh, you know, some people are bearish right now. Some people are long-term bullish. Some people are bearish long-term but that doesn't matter. So what happens when these sort of things take place? When this these sort of things take place, people are always looking out for newer avenues and newer places where they could park their money or they can make some of that money work for them, okay? So, so obviously newer chains have come up and one of them is of course base chain, build anything on base, right? And um, basically, Base is built on Ethereum Layer 2. With the security, stability, and scalability, you need to power your your dApps, confidently deploy any EVM code base, and on-ramp your users and assets from Ethereum Layer 1, Coinbase, and other interoperable chains. Now, basically, this is still an Ethereum-based chain, but, but with even lesser fees than Binance Smart Chain, for example. So, and of course, Base Chain is the DeFi chain of Coinbase. Uh, you know, the, the one of the largest and probably the most well-known crypto exchange, which is also completely regulated regulated in places like the United States and Canada. Now, they have their DeFi chain, and it's super early right now to get onto these chains. Now, you can obviously go to the bridge, and you can bridge your assets uh, assets uh, here here to, uh, to base chain. Of course, as new chains come, there are newer opportunities to make money, right? And but the one issue that I see uh, at the moment is that is is that people are not realizing this. But what I'm realizing is that is that as new newer chains come, and there are great opportunities, of course, there is also room for a lot of rug pulls and scams. Now. When we see, when, uh, but but then there are, you know, when you start searching for things, uh, you know, for projects and for things, when you start looking, there are, of course, always some hidden gems. Now, the beauty about base chain is people are still haven't really caught on to it yet. But as we approach the bull market, and yes, some people say you never know if it's going to come again, but it is going to come again. We hear that every single time, guys, you know. Every single time, and all, and as always, it's laughable the level of bearishness that some people display. Some people give the worst price predictions. Some people, you know, like give the most conservative price predictions for an asset. And you know, as someone who was part of the previous bull run, who has seen it all myself, I can tell you, people are just way off. They have no idea what's coming. Um, of course, yeah. I mean, there is a one, you know. 3% to 4% chance that we may never see a bull market again. But I highly doubt that. Um, I highly, highly doubt that because this game is manipulated by big players, big institutions, big money. Okay? So they want to shake you out, out of your positions. Okay? They want to scare you to the point of depression. And then once you're out, they're going to start pumping the markets again. And then you're going to be the emotional fool. You'll get in at the very top, make them even more profit. And then they're going to exit out and, and make you their exit, exit liquidity. Now, if you know how to play that game, that's a different story. But with that said, as the bull market approaches, we're going to see a lot of action take place on base chain. Now, why do I say that? Because this is Coinbase's DeFi chain. This is also built on Ethereum, but it's a layer two solution, but it's still ETH. You know, it's using Ethereum as its native asset. And of course, with its, you know, with Coinbase's connections and everything, there is going to be a lot of institutional money that, that, that should be coming in on this chain, in my view, because it's way cheaper than, than Ethereum. It's even cheaper than, than, than Binance Smart Chain, which also is, you know, where, where the gas fees is, in, is like in a, in a few cents. But it's even, you know, you know, it's even cheaper than that. And, 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 and basically it's backed by the biggest crypto exchange. So it's a recipe for success. But so if you're early on onto onto interesting projects, 
you know, you're going to win. And with that said, you know, people like to, to part, you know, they like in, in situations where there are not, there aren't a lot of trading opportunities. They like to put their money uh, in things where it could give them a decent return. And, um, you know, as, as I've talked about DeFi summer for a while, it's been around, you know, there have been some interesting things happening on Pulse Chain. Now, there's this one project that, I've, that I was hearing about for some time from various people, you know, in, in different crypto groups. I initially, I didn't really, you know, care too much, but then I started reading into it and I found it to be very, very impressive. And of course, one of the people, one a prominent person that uh, really mentioned it was DeFi Gardner. Shout out to the DeFi Gardner for, you know, talking about uh, the, the, this project and he still talks about it and I can see why he's been talking about it. So this, this one is called, um, uh, this one is called Carol Finance. So here's Carol Finance. So what is Carol Finance? What if I told you that you could earn Ethereum by 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 uh, passively by buying Carol tokens, bonding them with Ethereum, and then earning Ethereum in passive income? Sounds good. Now. The mission of the Carol Protocol is to create a decentralized, open, and fair financial system where participation and influence are distributed among all participants. The protocol aims to provide transparent and accessible mechanisms for bonding and liquidity provision, enabling users to engage in sustainable and reliable economic growth. The vision of the protocol encompasses the following key aspects. Decentralization and community part, uh, participation. Carol aims to create a fully decentralized system where governance and decision making are carried out by the by the participant community. This includes voting on crucial matters such as coin stability and liquidity management, innovative bonding and liquidity mechanisms. Through the use of unique bonding and liquidity provision methods, the Carol token offers avenues for secure and sustainable capital investment with income generation potential, sustainability and transparency, transparency and accessibility of all information related to the Carol token and Carol protocol are foundational to the strategy, fostering trust and confidence among participants, flexibility and scalability. The protocol is designed to adapt to changing market conditions and community needs, ensuring its long-term viability and growth serving diverse financial needs, providing solutions that cater to the diverse financial needs and interests of participants from individual investors to large institutional players, social responsibility and ethical conduct, aspiring to continually improve social impact while upholding high standards of ethics and social responsibility. Collect collectively, these missions and vision, vision elements establish the foundation of the Car for the Carol token and Carol protocol, guiding them towards the development of a next generation decentralized financial solution. Now, as I've said, I see a lot of institutional money coming on to base chain. And of course, even institutions like to make money passively. Now, if Carol succeeds in its mission and what it's planning to do, and to be honest with you, they've already started doing that, the team has been uh, has been solid. They've been delivering. The, the The product is good. It looks great. You know, uh, you know, it's got a great protocol and everything. Um, you can clearly see that. You know, they they are building something which I believe is going to do really, really good in the bull market as well, and even now. Now, why do I say this? Because you know, if we look at it, the Carol token has been designed with the aim of establishing a decentralized an innovative economic system with the Carol Protocol. It serves as a central element within the network, providing unique opportunities for participation in bonding and liquidity provision. Now, this would encourage people to, to bond their Ethereum on base chain and basically create more liquidity opportunities for Ethereum on base chain. Now, Ethereum is the second biggest cryptocurrency in, in the space, and Ethereum is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And to be able to earn on a on a token, you know, which is literally pegged to Ethereum, uh, but because you know you're bonding it and then creating those, those liquidity tokens, and then earning Ethereum on top is a very very impressive 
a novel idea as long as it's working and because it's bonded with ethereum you know the, you know the, you know there there are very little chances of um of you know things to go haywire or crazy unless you know you know there's some back door there's some rug pull there's some this there's always a risk in cryptocurrency guys of course none of this is financial advice i can repeat this again and again this is not financial advice but i believe they have been delivering and i believe that you know this protocol is one of the few legit things right now on base chain where there are a lot of rug pulls and everything because everybody's looking for new opportunities to make crazy returns but here you can grow organically and i and, I, and, I'll, ex and I'll explain that in a moment now um see now, now if you if we see this the functionality participation in bonding carol is utilized in bonding mechanisms allowing participants to lock their funds for a specific period in exchange for potential earnings and participation in protocol governance what do I what, what does this mean so you know of course when you see the returns the minimum returns on carol are two percent per day yeah now you must be wondering how is that sustainable well see the thing is see here to lock their funds for a specific period in exchange for potential earnings and participation in protocol governance to the best of my knowledge if you if you see this here when you bond carol okay with ethereum you can do this for, for 30 days maximum here. See, the, the, there's like different options. Five days, 10 days, uh, you know, so on and so forth. But right now, the, you, know, you know, this is 30 days, you know, at the moment. So 30 days, you know, is the amount. That means for those 30 days, you know, there can be no manipulation. You know, everything is fairly distributed. You know, you cannot just, you know, just because the tokens price price increases you know you can't just just dump it just like that and when you're earning the, the level of ethereum that you're earning you know you'd be incentivized to not really even sell too much of the of this token of course you have every right to sell the token you can do whatever you want but you know the incentives you know of earning ethereum as an income are are way more lucrative and and you know and ethereum is a is is an asset that has stood that has stood the test of time and you know you're able to really really do something great with it so you know when you think about it in the, in those terms then you know the, the potential is absolutely incredible here right now providing liquidity the carol token serves as a key component in, component in liquidity pools facilitating exchanges and creating the sustainable market conditions for all participants um and the, for all participants who are in, who are engaging in this now of course carol has the utility that is bringing that it is encouraging and incentivizing people to bridge their Ethereum from Ethereum onto base chain and thus providing liquidity for Ethereum and creating a market for Ethereum, right? Uh, then um, the governance. Carol token holders have voting rights in key protocol decisions such as price regulation, stability levels, and other strategic decisions. Of course, there's also a governance token. Decentralized price regulation. The Carol price regulation mechanism enables the creation of a stable and adaptive monetary system that can respond to changes in the economic landscape. Reward and incentive tool. Carol can be used to reward participants for their contributions to the ecosystem, whether it's providing liquidity, participating in voting, or other activities. Flexibility and scalability. The Carol token is designed to seamlessly integrate with other decentralized financial products and services offering flexibility and opportunities for further growth and innovation ensuring transparency and security all code and operations involving the carol token are transparent and accessible for verification fostering trust and security within the ecosystem overall the carol token is a multifunctional and flexible instrument within the Al alameda protocol providing decentralization innovation and sustainability in the ecosystem it serves as a primary catalyst for interaction and growth within the protocol, supporting the project's strategic goals and vision. Bonding period. Users can bond their Carol tokens for a fixed period of 30 days. The, the duration is fixed at the initial stage. Of course, as this project grows, as more liquidity comes, as more people come, you know, you know, this, these, um, you know, these days will be reduced, as you can see here. You know, you can select different days, 5 days, 10 days, 20 days, 30 days. Right, but the more you stake, the the higher your um, reward, of course. 
at the end of the 30 day bonding period, the user will receive their bonded funds back. So you receive your bonded funds back, the ones that you put in, plus an additional 30% in Carol tokens from the initial bonding amount. That's like a win-win here, folks. Utilizing bonds in liquid staking. After creating a bond, users can utilize it in liquid staking, thus providing liquidity and stability to the token. The, then we've got users can engage in liquid staking using their bonds to enhance the overall token liquidity. Maximum profit. Profit from liquid staking is capped at, at 150%, preventing excessive growth and maintaining system stability. So no one can abuse the system, guys. You know, no, no, uh, you know, 365, uh, you know, uh, you, you don't uh, you don't know, know 365 percent a day or or things like that or 400 percent or 600 percent or whatever you know or a thousand percent or or 300 percent none of that you know none of that um you know this is like where you know you're winning but you also have to keep you know reinvesting in order to keep winning okay if you're not reinvesting, you know, you, you'll be cut off. You cannot abuse the system. It's designed in that in a beautiful way where 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 overall sustainability is is more of a key and where you can also be making a lot of good money. Right? The daily yield from from, from liquid staking depends on the total token liquidity. Users users personal liqui liquidity participation and the and the duration during which the user does not claim or sell the token. Stability and liquidity through bonding and liquid staking mechanisms. The system incentivizes participants for long-term engagement and support, contributing to token stability and market availability. The bonding and liquid provision mechanisms for the Carol token are designed to create a sustainable and, and incentivizing a sustainable and incentivizing economic environment. They encourage long-term participation and support, fostering token growth and stability. The limitations and reward structure also aim to deter speculative behavior and maintain a healthy ecosystem. Basically, you know, the, this is, you know, these mechanisms are created so that degen behavior is decreased. Of course, degen behavior is not going to go away, but of course, it's going to be a lot less compared to other protocols where people have literally abused the systems. So, so yeah, we, we you know, you guys can read a lot of things. I'm just going to find, you know, stuff that is that 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 is uh you know uh you know super useful for you to know you know the main stuff so token distribution model and inflation policy as the carol token has an unlimited emission and no pre-mines or allocations for the team or funds so basically you know there is no uh, team wallet none of that it's totally decentralized of course um uh, for the team or funds the primary focus is on the following components users can bond their funds for 30 days and receive a, a plus thirty percent in Carol tokens on top of the initial bound on top of the initial bound bonding amount. Liquidity staking after bonding, users can participate in liquidity staking. The maximum profit from uh, liquidity staking is capped at a hundred and fifty percent. Decentralized governance: all liquidity is held in the management contract and cannot be used for purposes other than those defined by by the community through voting. Inflation policy, unlimited em emission. The Carol token has an unlimited em emission, which continuously, continually incentivizes participation in bonding and liquidity provision. Control through bonding and staking. Inflation is controlled through unique bonding and staking mechanisms, providing additional stability and, and, and resilience to the token. The inflation policy can be further regulated by the community through voting, enabling ad adaptation to changing economic conditions. The token distribution model and inflation policy for the Carol token are designed to ensure long-term sustainability and active community participation. The combined mechanisms of bonding and staking, along with decentralized governance, create a dynamic economic model capable of adapting and responding to the changing needs and interests of ecosystem participants. All right. Then we then we look at risk analysis and capital management strategy. Despite rigorous testing and auditing of smart contracts, there is always a risk of exploiting due to the complexity and novelty of DeFi. The risk is mitigated through continuous auditing and contract updates. The unlimited issuance of the Carol token could lead to imbalances in supply and demand, un uh, ultimately affecting the token's price. 
This risk is managed through a decentralized price regulation mechanism. All liquidity is locked in AMM contracts and the Carroll Protocol management contract. Any unexpected events involving these contracts could impact the liquidity of the Carroll token. All Carroll tokens are provided through bonding and staking mechanisms. Ensuring a consistent liquidity flow, liquidity is strictly controlled and managed through governance and AMM contracts. The decentralized Carroll price regulation mechanism allows the community to actively participate in managing the token's price, responding to changes in supply and demand. Reserves for unseen circumstances. Part of the funds generated from the price regulation mechanism in the management contract may be allocated as reserves for unforeseen circumstances. This provides a degree of protection in case of unexpected events. In summary, the Carroll token employs an innovative capital management system strategy based on carefully crafted bonding, staking, and price regulation mechanisms to ensure long-term project stability and sustainability. So they've had their smart contract audits, decentralized governance, protocol management, and key parameters governed through a community voting system, restriction of power of individual entities or groups over critical protocol components, user education and information, continuous user education and information, dissemination on best security practices, provision of resources and guides for secure interaction with the platform, uh, integration with trusted partners, in, in, in interacting only with verified and secure partners and services, conducting due diligence on partners and third-party services. So in conclusion, the Carroll token and the Carroll protocol security is a top priority and a multi-layer defense system is implemented to ensure the security of users' funds and data. Security measures are designed to instill trust and confidence in the long-term sustainability and reliability of the platform. And then we've got the compliance with legislative and regulatory requirement. Monitoring and adherence to local laws Licensing, registration, adherence to financial re regulatory standards, education and collaboration with regulators, privacy and data protection policy. So you can read all about this in their in their white paper. Basically, you know, it's like it's filled with information, and of course, the you know, um, uh, you know, then you know they even have an incentives program. Of course, you know, if you join the protocol, you guys can also you know base reward reward rates all. Participants meeting the minimum requirement receive a base reward rate of 5%. This provides an incentive for initial participation and ongoing support of the protocol. TVL link between uh, link, re link reward increases total value locked. Participants who actively invite others and contribute to TVL growth can increase the rewards up to 20%. This encourages them to intensify uh, efforts in, in attracting new participants and capital to the system. Just the fact that you can be earning Ethereum is an attraction in itself. And then on top of that, you know, you're, you know, you're also getting rewarded. So 5% starter, 7%, you get 0 0.5 ETH, 9%, 1.15 ETH, 11%, 50 ETH, you know, um, um, and of course, um, you know, rewards, these are rewards up to 20%. So starter is 5% in ETH, 7, 5% starter, 7%, 0 0.5 ETH, 9% 15 ETH, 11% 50 ETH, 14% 100 ETH, 16% 250 ETH, 18% 750 ETH, 20% 1500 ETH, you know? Um, so TVL growth can increase the reward up to 20%. So, you know, you know the TVL growth, right, can increase the rewards up to 20%. So TVL growth, if, if the growth increases, you know, to, to these levels, you know, you're gonna be rewarded, of course. Uh, dynamic tier differ, differ, differential. Uh, rewards are calculated based on the difference in achieved tiers among different users. This creates a fairer distribu distribution system, mitigating potential manipulations and preventing inequality in, in, in reward distribution. This is another way to stop manipulation and, you know, from leeches to come into this protocol. Great, great, I think, you know, overall, this is really, really awesome. Transparency and accountability. All aspects of the incentive program are public and easily easily accessible, ensuring transparency and trust in the system. Uh, Anti-manipulation measures. This, uh, the program is designed to minimize the possibility of abuse or manipulation, ensuring a fair and equitable distribution of rewards. 
The Carol Incentive Program is a crucial mechanism for encouraging participation and ecosystem growth. It provides incentives for participants to be more active and engaged while ensuring fairness and transparency in reward distribution. In the long run, this can contribute to the sustainability and success of the protocol, transforming users into active participants and, and, advocate, and advocates of the system. Um, for, for early project adopters, the offer for early adopters of the Carol Protocol is an integral part of the growth and development strategy of the protocol. This offer, offer aims to attract and reward individual participants and supporters who actively engage in the, engage in the project's early stages. Here is a detailed description uh, of this offer. Offer for early adopters of the, of the Carol Protocol. Bonding with lockup. Early adopters can receive special bonds with, with a lockup period of 100 days. These bonds ac acknowledge their early participation and contribution to the protocol. Participation in liquidity staking. This, uh, the, the received bonds can be used in liquidity staking. Uh, this provides additional earning opportunities and participation in the Carol ecosystem. Use of Carol tokens for, uh, for rewards. Uh, Protocol team and community can use Carol tokens accumulated through the compensation me cost method as part of the early user reward program. Rewards for activity and visibility. Bonuses and rewards are offered for activities that contribute to the development and visibility of the protocol. This may include participation in discussions, social media promotion, development, and other actions that directly support protocol growth. In conclusion, the offer for early adopters of the Carol Protocol creates appealing incentives for ac active participation in the project's early development stages. It ensures long-term engagement, encouraging participants to continue supporting and advancing the, the protocol. Such attention to early participants can contribute to sustainable and healthy project growth, strengthening the community and laying the foundation for future success. And... Uh, you know, if you guys want to, you know, of course, in their white paper, they have all the contacts for their Twitter, for their Twitter account, their Discord, their Telegram channel, their Telegram group, you know, everything that you want to know, you know, please, I'm going to leave a link to this entire thing. It's like huge. It's a, it's a massive, uh, you know, white paper. You know, you guys can read it all again in detail for yourselves, for your own satisfaction. And of course, then the user guide, how do you, how, how, how Carol Protocol works. You know, it tells you the entire way to, you know, basically, uh, you know, how, how, you know, in the white paper, I'm going to leave a link to this white paper and you can see, you know, how to, you know, do it. You know, you install MetaMask or any of the wallets that you use at the base network to your wallet. If it's not already there, you can use this link for automatic addition. So chainlist.org is the one. And then you search for base and then you add that to your MetaMask. So that's there, you know, it's gives, it gives you all the instructions and you fund your Ethereum wallet on the Ethereum network and bridge your Ethereum to base ETH using the bridge, you know, which is, you know, uh, if we went to, if we go to base.org, you know, you can click on bridge right here and it's going to give you the link, but it also gives you the link to the bridge, um, you know, right here as well. I'm going to leave a link to that bridge as well. And I'm also going to, and, and you know, Coinbase has this policy um you know where uh you know you cannot you know you know you know take out your assets uh, assets uh, for like at least a week or something uh if i'm not mistaken uh you know once they have been bridged but there is another swap you know which has been built on basin where you can actually do that so i'm going to leave a link to that as well um you know uh, that is a you know if you have an emergency you want to you need to use your funds or whatever it is right and uh, then you know basically then once you know your your asset is bridged then you know uh, what what you're going to do is you're going to go to carol.finance, okay? And what you're going to do is, for example, let's say you had an entire, let's say you had 0 0.0.2 0 .2 Ethereum, okay? That's 307. Okay, let's just let's just do it to 0 0.1, okay? Or yeah, 0 0.01, or whatever. Actually, let's just do one Ethereum, okay? Let's just give an, give you an example of this, right? So one Ethereum, right? You had one Ethereum, but Keep in mind that just because you're buying one Ethereum worth of Carol, that means you need, you need another $1,588 worth of Ethereum as well in order to create, <coughs> in order to create, uh, in order to bond this. And, uh, and then that, and that gives you the LP. So, so whatever amount, let's say you had $500, right? So you'd buy $500, you buy $250 worth of Ethereum and you'd buy $250 worth of Carol. Then 
you know once you have that amount set you would obviously also need a bit of extra money you know i mean easily you can keep 10 20 bucks the the gas uses are way less than a you know even cheaper than binance margin so so a couple of cents so just have a little bit more more money uh you know for, for the gas fees and then you know you're just going to click on get tokens and then you'll have your tokens and then and then after that you know you're going to go to uh stake carol okay and you're going to basically you know then you know you're going to select your bond and it's going to be written there you know whatever you know whatever you bought in eth and whatever you bought in carol is going to be there then you just click on buy bond and that's it you know you guys are going to, going to, going to be start earning now here i basically bought about a, around 400 dollars worth of uh in total as in 200 dollars worth of carol 200 dollars worth of uh um um ethereum if i remember correctly and uh, then i rebonded some of my tokens as well and as you can see the the starting the starting return is is 2.47 percent sorry two percent and then everything on top is whatever you're doing so i haven't claimed any yet i haven't sold any so i think my rewards are increasing step by step and as you can see this is the amount of ethereum that i've earned so far you know uh you know since i've done it i mean it's just been about a week uh since i've done this and the interesting thing is that when i got in the market cap was around i think 32 or 33 thousand dollars uh market cap right now it's like almost touching fifty thousand dollars so you can clearly see that people are coming in people are interested in this and we and 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 we're still like this is like super early okay super super early right now um you know in, in the protocol because uh because a lot of people are still you know you know once the bull market starts people are really going to start coming in putting their money looking for newer chains and i think if carol is doing what it's doing right now it, it's going to garner a lot of interest and you know these type of prices for even carol token this in itself could go parabolic you know right now it's like sitting at 0 0.0161 when i got in it was like 0 0.012 i think if i remember correctly and um uh, and, and you know look it's already increasing before that you know you, you, you know when it started started out it, it was even less than a penny so it's been constantly organically growing because it's got a, a nice cutoff system where the system cannot be abused you know and, and it's got some great returns and you always have to keep contributing to the protocol in order to earn more right and that also increases the liquidity and the value of the token as well and uh so this is the amount of carol that i have available right now for myself right and then this is the amount of ethereum you know which actually is saying equals to this this much ethereum uh i believe um 0.0421 ETH, and um, and if we go to Ethereum, let me just show this. How much this is? 0 0.04 0 0.0421 ETH. That is sixty six dollars, guys. Pretty damn good, you know, especially for the amount that I invested a week ago. And if we go to Carol. I mean the amount of total staked uh, uh, carols that I have, um, which is two eight one nine four, right? So if we take our trusted calculator, uh, two eight one nine four plus point point. Zero one six one six one. Wait, that can't be right. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> sorry guys. Two eight one nine four twenty thousand one ninety four multiplied by zero point zero one six one. That's four hundred fifty three dollars. So like I told you, I I put four hundred dollars. I'm already fifty three dollars in profit on my initial investment. And I'm already making on top of this this much in Ethereum. So I've already ROI'd. I'm already in profit here, as you can see. I didn't put too much of an amount, but I think this this is enough in my view because I think this token at the right time it could really start to fly. As you can see, the incentives are there, the pumpamentals are there. Uh, you know, the, the 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 ability to earn Ethereum. You know, in a, in a passive way, that too in a market which is right now, you know, going through a lot of fluctuations and craziness and madness is, is another great incentive. And they've got these great mechanisms where, you know, the, where where the chances of exploitation are not zero, but they're, they're, they're definitely much, much 
less compared to many other protocols that have come and gone. And I think this is only the beginning for Carol. It's still super early. There's still a lot of money that needs to come onto base chain. There's still a lot of great projects and a lot of great things that can, that can be built on base chain. It's backed by Coinbase. And Coinbase is a, is a company that really knows what it has been doing. It's been building for a long time now. They've been really, really building. They've been developing. They have, uh, you know, a huge reputation. You know, one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the space, regulated by the by the United States, regulated in all, all almost all of the, you know, t I mean, pretty much all the tier one countries right around the world. And and you know, when they they have big money behind them, so they're going to encourage a lot of people to come on to this chain and really really use it to its full potential. So you know, I believe like the way we saw a huge influx of money coming in into Binance Smart chain when BSC came out which was the DeFi chain of Binance uh, um, I, I, I see the same thing happening around this time in this upcoming bull run for for base chain and I believe that those people who invested in Carol early are going to really 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 benefit from this sort of um, you know uh, an opportunity from you know staking their care you know buying their Carol bonding into Ethereum basically pegging it to Ethereum in a way right and and you know earning Ethereum and passive income and earning a great income and you know constantly being incentivized to keep doing that and I think this is a great way to earn Ethereum it's a great way to invest in Carol which I believe is also going to increase and in, is going to organically increase in its price of course I'm not a financial advisor I don't want to hold a crystal ball or anything but I feel that this is one of those really few protocols that I feel is going to do well in the, around this upcoming bull run and is going to do well in DeFi of course everything is in crypto is a risk you know this is uh, you know this is still the wild wild west but you know i've been in a lot of protocols and i feel that this one is something that i feel is it, you know they've got a lot of ground covered already they've got some good mechanisms in place so i see longevity here and i see an opportunity to be earning some good amount of passive income here and if you've enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Please leave a comment. Share this with as many people as you can. Um, you know, um, as I've said, Carol also has an incentive program. So, yeah, you know, get people on board. If, if this resonates with you, join, join it through my link or don't. You know, it's up to you. You know, um, it just helps out. Uh, if you do but i'm not you know doing this i'm not shilling this out for an incentive program you know if i was you know i wouldn't be invested in it in, in it myself right so i am invested in it myself i usually talk about things that that i myself am involved in and uh and i feel that this is that this is one of those uh, you know projects that is going to do very 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 well uh, you know, around you know, in this upcoming bull run, of course, uh, um, because because the amount of liquidity and money that is going to come onto base chain because of Coinbase, and I think there's a lot, there's a bright future here, guys, and I feel that you know those who get in early are going to reap the most benefits as always guys and uh, of course if you want really great picks really great projects long-term solid solid cryptos for the upcoming bull run because it is imminent it is going to happen so might as well get your knowledge quickly get in into those projects you know at the right time uh you know if you want more crypto knowledge and more you know you know great great projects for the long term and midterm uh in the crypto space um, don't forget to join our Patreon, Crypto Ronins. Um, I highly recommend that. We made a lot of money for our friends in the previous bull run. Uh, we made, I made a lot of money for my Telegram private group members. And, um, you know, um, you know, and we're just now, you know, we want more people to come into crypto. We want people to, uh, to embrace crypto. We want people to adopt crypto. And, uh, you know, you know, the, you know, is this going to cost you a price of one pizza in the month? That's it, you know, uh, and you know you'll be getting some of the some really really great picks because, trust me, folks, some of the picks that I have, you know, are better than most people that are going to charge you, you know, four to five figures, you know, you know, to get into their groups and things like that. I don't believe in that. I believe that the barrier to entry should be less because a lot of people are in the space to make money. So, so you know, if you pay a fee that you're okay to part with, I mean, what's you know. Think about it. What's the price of one pizza in the month to you, right? It's, it's like it's, it's like that. Just think about that. What is it to you, right? Um, and uh, 
a price of one pizza in the month and you, and you know you get you could be making life-changing money of course i'm not a financial advisor but i've been in the previous bull run i've you know i've been in the crypto space i've been in the depths of DeFi. that is why i you know i come through these sort of protocols all the time and i ignore most of them but this one will seem to be very very interesting i'm in, in a few DeFi protocols because i because when i got into crypto right i got into a lot of different protocols rock pulls scams this that that this and i learned so many things along the way that now you know i mean of course you know sometimes even great projects can uh, can fail no doubt about it you know make no mistake that can happen but you know overall my feeling is that this one carol has a really really good um you know chance of succeeding you know um, you know as it's, as as it's a great DeFi project you know on base chain and it's super early it's one of the first and you know they're doing something here which is which is which looks to be like a like like a solid financial DeFi pro, uh, product uh, for people to make passive income on. So again, this is me, the DeFi enthusiast, signing out. Don't forget to join Crypto, Crypto Ronins. Our Patreon is going, just going to cost you a price of one pizza in the month. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, take care of yourselves. Bye.